Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. I'm Wade and welcome to Wade's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, today we're going to do a little something different. No camping, no fishing this week. Uh, it's been a little chilly here in Kentucky and, uh, well, I don't mind the cold too terribly much, but getting out there on the water uh, and camping sometimes, it's, well, it is what it is. Anyway, it's a bit cold here in Kentucky and I figured we'd talk a little bit about something that a lot of people they kind of go back and forth on, you know, the proper sunglasses for while you're fishing. Now, there's countless videos out there on telling you, oh, you should wear this color during this time and this color during that time. That's not this video. This video is about what I use and what is out there and some of the options you have. You don't have to spend two, two hundred and fifty, $300 on a pair of sunglasses um, to, you know, to get the job done. Um, now then, I will say this, uh, I've had cheaper sunglasses. I have more expensive sunglasses and the difference between the two, I can tell uh, the difference. So we're going to dig into this a little bit and go over some of the options that are out there ranging from $5 all the way up into uh, my most expensive pair, which is $250. Um, now then, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I bought all of these sunglasses with my hard earned money. Uh, it's taken me a little while to get them. but. I do have them and I have to say thank you to my wife because she bought a couple of pairs for me or helped me get a couple of pairs I should say. Anyway, let's dig into this and okay. uh, so first up are my Costas. Um, I bought these a couple of years ago uh, when I first started wearing contacts again. Um, so I was really excited. I always heard Costas were awesome. Costas, um, I think they're Costas. But anyway, these are the Tuna Alley in the green mirror uh, polycarbonate. I don't wear these nearly as much as I used to because I learned that the polycarbonate scratch a lot uh, easier than the glass ones do. I am looking to get these replaced with the glass lenses, but currently these glasses are $213. Um, they, are, they are quite good. I do enjoy wearing these sunglasses. They are comfortable. They do not give me a headache by the end of the day. They fit really well. Uh, and they're pretty awesome on the water. Um, the one thing that I do say about these is when I'm looking at my when I'm looking at my fish finder and I'm looking at my live scope specifically, it doesn't really they don't really cut through the glare very well on my fish finder, so I have to kind of move around a little bit. Um, but other than that, these are phenomenal. Um, I'm terrible at sight fishing, so I take any advantage I can. But again, these are the Tuna Alley in the mirror green. Now I do tend to prefer the green tint lenses. Um, I, I forget exactly where I read this or heard this, but try to match your lens color to the color of water you're fishing. Well, mostly I fish fresh water uh, and a lot of times it's green or clear. Very seldom is it like a blue color like you find out in the deep water, uh, salt water, sea, deep sea fishing, stuff like that. Um, but that's, I don't know. That's just my preference. I enjoy wearing these uh, when it's sunny uh, or when it's cloudy. They seem to do a really good job for me. But these are the uh, Tuna Alleys by Costa. And like I said, they're really nice. They're comfortable. Uh, they did not come with the little lanyard here. I had to get that separately. But yeah, very nice pair of sunglasses, but they are a little pricey. The glass lenses, I believe, are a little more expensive. Let's take a look at what the glass costs here. $273. So if you're looking to get these in a glass lens, you're looking to spend around 300 bucks. Uh, the nice thing about the polycarbonate is the, uh, the impact protection, um, which I don't think I've ever really encountered that issue myself where a lead weight or a tungsten weight is flying back at my face and I'm worried about it hitting my eyes. I usually just throw my hand up in front of my eyes, so I'm more worried about the hook at that point. <laughs> but anyway, the Costas are a great sunglass, um, but are they necessary? No, but if you have the money and you want to go pick them up, I, I highly recommend those. Now next up uh, is a new pair of sunglasses, that a newer pair of sunglasses and I've never owned this brand before until this year and that is Wiley X. Um, these are the Omegas and they are the Jacob Wheeler uh, signature series. <clears throat> so and I forget 
what color this lens is, uh, but it has got a green hue uh, to it, a little bit of blue. The one thing that I can say about these uh, that I absolutely love over the Costas is when I look at my fish finder and my live scope, um, the glare is almost non-existent. It actually, there's something about these that that amber, because I have the amber color for my live scope, just makes it pop. And uh, yeah, so, but anyway, these um, were right around 200 bucks. Uh, it's funny, if you look at the Omegas just like these that aren't the Jacob Wheeler uh, edition, they're right around the same price. So, I like Jacob Wheeler. Some people don't. That's whatever. I'm not here to discuss that. I'm here to discuss these sunglasses. These are extremely comfortable um, with a caveat. Um, it did take a little while to break these in. They don't, they don't fit great out of the box. Uh, but once you've worn them, I don't know, three, four, five times, they loosen up and they start feeling way better. Um, and uh, they come with the little lanyard here, so helps try not to, helps to try not to lose these, or to help not lose these, I should say. So, but yeah, uh, they are on the inside. They're that amber rose color, just like the back uh, coating of my Costas. And uh, yeah, they're a, they're overall they're a really good pair of sunglasses. Uh, this is most of the time, this is what you see me wearing when I'm on the water on my kayak um, until I get these replaced with the glass lenses because those are scratched all to pieces. Uh, but yeah, again, not sponsored by any of these companies. <laughs> Bought these with my own, own hard-earned money. So I'm gonna be extremely honest with you about these. Um, all, my, all these sunglasses that we're gonna be talking about today, I bought with my own money. We're gonna be talking honestly about it. Now, <clears throat> and if you have any questions on any of these, you can feel free to leave me a comment and I will be glad to, to talk to you about these. Uh, I love a good, in, a good, interesting conversation about sunglasses. I love sunglasses. I have a decent collection and it's growing just slowly. <laughs> so the next pair of sunglasses that we're gonna talk about are my Oakley Flax. Um, these are probably my most versatile pair of sunglasses I own, simply for the fact that the lenses pop right out. So I have three pairs of lenses as of right now for these. Um, now I gotta get this back in there. Uh, after I popped it out, I can't get it back. Um, well, anyway, it fits right in here. Goes around that and then pops right back in place. There we go. I fumbled with that long enough. But that's the nice thing about these. Now the downer <laughs> is you have to buy the replacement lenses or the lenses that you want to use. Uh, and they're about a hundred bucks a piece. Um, so you might start out with a pair of flax that cost, I think these originally were $245. And then tack on another pair of lenses down the road that's a hundred bucks. And another pair of lenses that's another hundred bucks. <laughs> so I have three pairs of lenses for these. Um, the lens that came with them, which is the Deepwater uh, Prism P Polarized. Uh, then I bought a pair of the Ruby Iridium, or the Ruby uh, lenses, fire, whatever, they're the, they're the red lenses. Um, <laughs> and then I bought the, um, the uh, shallow water, fresh water lenses, which are the green uh, that I was referring to earlier. And again, all of these, except for the deep water lenses, have the amber rose uh, backing on them on the inside, so that tends to help, I guess, on those sunny and cloudy days. Um, there is something that I've noticed in my sunglasses and my uh, for my fishing and things is I don't have a lot of black lenses, but I do have a pair here that we're going to talk about. And uh, my thoughts, uh, actually two pairs that we're going to talk about uh, that are black lenses and my experience with the black colored lenses. Um, I've always felt that they darken things way too much. Again, I'm not the greatest sight angler in the world. Um, buddy of mine, way better. Uh, <laughs> but once I get them pointed out to me or I look long enough, I can actually, you know, and I see what I'm looking for, I can see them and it's no problem after that. Just takes me a little while. That's where these are really nice because they do cut down on that glare. And I haven't had a chance to try the, uh, the Wiley X out yet, so. Those are my higher end glasses and the thoughts between the three on those. And honestly, 
I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now that either three, any three, either one, any one of these three, I don't think you can go wrong in picking up if you have the money. If you don't, don't stretch beyond your means. Be responsible about it, right? Don't go out and blow your money on something you don't have the money to blow it on. Uh, <laughs> so now the step, I don't wanna say a step down. Well, let's just say a step down in price uh, because I think the quality is pretty decent on these. Um, I recently uh, was curious about the company Shady Rays. And that's not gonna, is that gonna focus in there? Well, there we go, Shady Rays. Now, so the really awesome thing about these Shady Rays is the replacement program and the price point. So these particular glasses, these are the Talon. Um, these were 50 bucks. Uh, I went into the shop, said, hey, need a pair of sunglasses. I picked these up because they look like my flax and I like the color. The only thing about these that I'm a little, eh, wish I'd have maybe picked something a little different is this is a clear frame and you can see the Shady Rays uh, logo there. It looks really sweet there, but these are a clear frame and you can see my finger right behind that Shady Rays there. Um, and another thing is, which is surprising to me, is these are black coated on the back and they're not that amber uh, rose uh, color like my Costas and the others were. Um, and they're the uh, emerald green color. So I haven't had a chance to had get the yeah, I haven't had a chance to get these on the water yet. Um, but just wearing them around for the past few days, they do block glare really well. It snowed here the past few days. We got a lot of snow. It's really sunny today, and these have blocked the uh, road glare and things just fine. So um, that's all I can really say about uh, the um, glare protection on these. Most important thing is they're all polarized. Every single glass you're seeing here today, all polarized. Protect your eyes while you're on the water and off the water. Um, it's just a really good investment uh, to put into some good quality sunglasses. Um, with that said, I do like these. They're a little uncomfortable, but they do have an adjustable nose piece, as you can see here. You can adjust it and move it wherever you want. Um, so I'm still getting used to them but I do like them. Uh, the one thing I also have noticed uh, when I have my camera up here and I have the screen facing me so I can see my lovely, beautiful face um, is when I put them on, I can still see myself in the screen. Uh, and of course, anybody that's worn uh, polarized glasses and they're looking at an LCD screen, they, they know what I'm talking about. You have to kind of tilt your head sideways to actually see the screen. <laughs> These, not so much. It's dark, but I can still see my, it's like when I move my arms and hands around, I can still see that movement and I can still see the screen. So I'm not quite sure how good the polarization is. Uh, it may be just fine. Uh, they seem to be doing just fine. They seem to be blocking glare for me just fine on, uh, on driving and just wearing them in general. But we'll try them out on the water, see what we get, and then I'll update you guys on that. But anyway, these are the Shady Ray Talons. They were like 50 bucks. Um, the replacement uh, program is pretty awesome. Anything under 100, I believe, and I'll put all this information in the description below. They told me at the store, but I can't quite remember what the, <laughs> all the stuff. But anything that's $100 and below is like $25 to replace if they get damaged for any reason within the first two years of purchase. Anything in the price point of $100 or $125 and above was like 18, 17, 18 dollars to replace. But again, all that information will be in the description below. Now then, we've gone from 250 to almost 300 dollars. The Costas and the glass uh, lenses are almost 300 dollars. We've dropped down to 250, down to 200. Now we're down to the 50 dollar range. Um, oh, and these are these Shady Rays on the shelf when I got them. Price point was 62 dollars. They rang up cheaper than that. I don't know if they just gave me a discount or I don't know. I don't know if they were having a sale, uh, but I also picked up a case for these for like eight bucks and it's a pretty decent little case. I did forget to bring that with me. But anyway, those are the Shady Ray Talons. Pretty nice looking pair of sunglasses and uh, we'll move on. Okay, so now we're getting into the budget of budget. So you need something in a pinch you ran off and left your Costas, your Oakleys, your Wiley X's, your Ray-Bans, whatever, right? 
you left those at home and you're like, crud, I need a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't fret because Walmart is everywhere around and Walmart carries these bad boys. These are Yum. Whoop. So these are, there we go, Yum sunglasses, well, but Yum uh, fishing lures. Uh, so you can very much tell that these are $5 sunglasses. You can see the construction on them. They're pretty flimsy. They are really light, which is pretty cool. These are the sunglasses I would keep in the back of my truck or in my boat or in my kayak. Just fold it up, throw them in, go out fishing for the day. If they make it through the day, cool. If they don't, well, that's cool too because they were $4.74 at Walmart. And I'll, I'll just be honest with you. Um, will they get you through a day of fishing? Yeah, probably. Are they the best sunglasses in the world? Mm, not really, no. <laughs> Are they the most comfortable? Absolutely not. Um, will they get the job done? Most likely, yeah. Um, I've worn sunglasses like this before, before I learned how to sight fish, and they did just fine. They protected my eyes. I wasn't really sight fishing or anything, but they did protect my eyes, and you know, that was pretty all right. Now, I'm usually not big on just a just straight brown color, but I will say the one thing about these is, and I know this is, well, if you've ever worn polarized glasses, you know that polarized glasses kind of brighten things up in a way that you can see certain colors better, right? Uh, that's kind of what these do, uh, but they are, they are really flimsy. They're not, uh, they're not huge, great quality, but they'll get the job done. Now the next ones I have are Yum as well. I did try to find another brand other than Yum, like Strike King, but I could not. Now these are black lenses and they're black frames and they're more of that wraparound style. And again, I'm not huge on the black uh, tent. And as I mentioned earlier about, you know, the polarization and being able to see like LCD screens and things of that nature. Well, I've got these on and no matter which way I turn my head, I can still see the screen on my camera just fine. So not sure how good the polarization is on them. Um, they seem to be lacking a little bit when I've put them on outside. They're not very comfortable, but they're five bucks. Again, don't have your other sunglasses with you, you need something in a pinch, these are gonna work just fine, so there's alternatives out there, but you do get what you pay for. Um, but yeah, these are, uh, these are a good option if you just need something in a pinch, or you just wanna leave something in your truck, your car, your boat, whatever, just to get you through the day. Now, I picked these up as well, and they are in the $5 range, and these are a cool camo color. And these are Oz if you just need something in a pinch or you just wanna leave something in your truck, your car, your boat, whatever, just to get you through the day. Now, I picked these up as well and they are in the $5 range and these are a cool camo color and these are Ozark Trail. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can see the, yep. These are Ozark Trail and I kinda dig the camo color. So I have not tried these on uh, as of yet they are pretty comfortable. Um, this, you got to see the first time I tried these on. So they are pretty comfortable. They don't move around a lot. They're not too terribly tight. They fit pretty okay. But again, they're, they're black uh, tent on the uh, out and inside. So I'm not really sure how they're gonna do if you're sight fishing with them or whatever, but they're gonna protect your eyes. The, the one thing that I've always noticed with uh, like darker color lenses, uh, and this is me personally, just my experience, is they seem to, when I take them off, the light seems to hurt my eyes more than if I have on something with the amber or rose uh, backing uh, tint. So, but again, I don't wanna go into, you know, like this big long spiel of, oh, hey, look at my sunglasses or anything like that. I love sunglasses. I have more at home. Um, I didn't bring all of them with me because I wanted to just focus on the ones that I primarily wear while I'm fishing. And these Wiley X's are my most used, um, but I will be taking these out so I can give you a more honest review on those. But first impressions of these and just using them over the past few days, 
well, aside from these, I have not really used those that much and I've tried these on a few times and I wore these a little while yesterday and they're just, they weren't comfortable so I didn't continue to wear them. <laughs> and that's another thing, when you're looking for sunglasses and you can order these online, but I highly, and these are the Shady Rays, I highly, highly encourage find a Shady Ray store and try them on because I tried a few of them on in the store yesterday and they just felt really weird. And then I picked these up and tried these and these were better. Um, but yeah, some of the other frames that do wrap around like this, they were really tight on my head. I don't have a big, big head, but I have a big enough head that it just wasn't comfortable for me. So anyway, um, and last but not least, so I wear contacts and I don't wanna leave out my glass wearing uh, community. You know, you guys, uh, you guys feel the pain sometimes, right? For the longest time, I did two pairs of glasses. Uh, I did a pair of prescription sunglasses and then I would do just my regular glasses. But these little clip-ons right here, and they're black, these are not bad. I was extremely impressed with these. They were t like 15 or 20 bucks. Got them at Walmart and they are polar optics. And they're just clip-ons that go on your glasses. I found the right pair for my glasses and put them on. They're a little loose, but they did the job. They do the job and they're, they're good. Um, would I just primarily use these? No. Uh, if I had the means and I could get a second pair of prescription sunglasses or, you know, maybe the, what is it? The transitions, uh, in a polarized, um, uh, get them polarized and do the uh, transitions lenses would probably be better, but hey, if you can't do that, these right here are gonna get you through just fine. I wore these, I've worn these for years. Uh, this is actually my third pair of these, and they do just fine. Um, now, stacking those up against the Oakleys or the the um, the Costas or the Wiley X's, eh, you know, you can take them or leave them and do whatever you want with them. But, all so to wrap this up, I feel like I'm rambling here, but to wrap this up, invest in a good pair of eyewear. Uh, you're not going to regret it. Um, it's going to protect your eyes. You're not going to have as much eye fatigue, and that's a thing, right? These will do the job, but you're probably going to have eye fatigue at the end of the day. That's the nice thing about these higher end glasses is they use a higher quality polycarbonate or glass in the case of Costas. Costas. Um, you're going to have less eye fatigue. And I know there's a bunch of other brands out there, Smith's Optics, Nines, I heard is really good. I'm, I'm thinking about getting a pair of those just because, well, I, I have a sunglass addiction <laughs> and I'm not afraid to admit it. But yeah, that's a little bit of information about the glasses I use and my opinions on these glasses. Uh, and again, there's alternatives out there. You don't have to spend two, three hundred dollars on a pair of sunglasses. These for 50 bucks, I think are gonna be great. I just gotta get a chance to get out on the water and try them out, which hopefully will be coming pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Planning a trip down to Chickamauga. Excited about that. So some camping and some fishing videos are coming. So folks, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. Uh, this is just a little bit of information about the sunglasses that I prefer and just showing you that there's some alternatives out there and you don't have to spend $300 on a pair of sunglasses. Uh, and if somebody tells you you do, well, you can tell them to just jog on. But I think these are gonna be great. Well, at least good. I just gotta get a chance to get out on the water and try them out. Be sure to watch this playlist up here. Thank you guys for watching. Join me next time as we wade through this adventure of life right here on Wade's Outdoor Adventures. Peace. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.